Welcome back. Small pharmacies across the country are quickly becoming a critical part of vaccine distribution. They're stepping up to fight misinformation and administer the vaccine in areas where medical resources are often limited. Mariella Villarreal has more. Arnie, you'd like to have it in? Stephen Hoffert's career as a pharmacist brought him back home to Magnolia, Texas, where the population is just over 2,000 people. Had any kind of allergic reaction? At the beginning of the pandemic, Hoffert stepped up to make hand sanitizer for those on the front lines. Now he's stepping up again by distributing 500 doses of the Moderna vaccine. We have great relationships with our community, so being able to make sure that we're able to get those patients in on a timely manner, it's a challenge, but it's something we're working through every day. Texas is currently vaccinating Group 1B, which in this state is residents 65 and older and people 16 and older with medical conditions that could put them at risk for severe illness with COVID-19. I survived 2020. Jane Baugh will be 85 years old next month. Yay! Baugh's son is an anesthesiologist. He said, Mom, if you could have been in the emergency room with me or the ICU, and seeing all the people I have put to sleep, paralyzed, intubated, you would run to get this vaccination. Big pharmacy chains like CVS and Walgreens contracted with the federal government to help distribute vaccines. But those chains aren't always in rural communities, leaving independent pharmacies to fill in the gaps with both access to quality care and factual education on vaccinations. I called my own doctor. They aren't getting the shots. Bill Haynes is over 65, diabetic, and hopeful the vaccine will make a swift impact. I'm going to be happy to be able to see people smile. Of the more than 377,000 vaccines given out here in Texas, more than 56,000 have been inside pharmacies of all sizes. Mireya Villarreal, CBS News, Arlington, Texas. Hoffart believes small pharmacies will continue to play a big role, which is why he has asked pharmacy students certified in administering vaccines to help with the demand. And a new study links high blood pressure during pregnancy to memory problems later in life. Researchers from the Netherlands tracked nearly 600 expectant mothers. They found women diagnosed with gestational hypertension or preeclampsia had lower scores on memory tests 15 years later. However, there was no difference in the woman's fine motor skills, verbal fluency, or processing speed. And it's been an unseason, unseasonably warm over the past few weeks, and it's a trend that's likely to continue.